Hey, and welcome to this quick demo of Encore. What you're looking at here is a simple script that, given a set of coordinates, returns the current weather in that location. Let's give it a go. And that's the weather in my location here in Stockholm. Now, this script took just a few minutes to write. But if I wanted to turn this into an API that's deployed in the cloud, everything would be much more complicated. Until Encore. With Encore, all we have to do is add an annotation to our function, which tells Encore this should be exposed as an API. And from that, we can simply type Encore run, and Encore takes care of the rest. We can now call this function with curl. And there you go. Now, most people probably haven't memorized their current location as a set of coordinates. And for that, we have GeoLookup. So here's a simple Encore service that, given a query, returns the latitude and longitude. And we can use this inside of our weather API to make the API a bit nicer. And to do that, we simply change the path to accept a query. And then inside of this, we use our GeoResolve API. And with Encore, all you have to do to make API calls is like any other function call. And Encore will actually parse this and turn it into a proper API call under the hood. And what's really powerful about this is it gives us type safety directly in our editor. And just like that, we have an API call from one microservice to another. And you can see that as I was making these changes, Encore was live reloading under the hood. So now I can call this weather API and passing the name of the city instead of having to worry about the coordinates. Another thing that's really powerful about this is that Encore provides not only a nice developer experience, it also automatically generates API documentation for us. So here you can see that Encore, through static analysis, figures out what are the different APIs, what are the different services, and what's the input and output to each one. And when we are making API calls, Encore also provides distributed tracing, which is an incredibly powerful way of introspecting what's going on under the hood when you have several APIs that are talking with each other. And here we can see that the Weather Lookup API is first making an API call to GeoResolve and then uses that to call the Open Weather Map API. We're almost ready to deploy this to the cloud. The final thing we need to do is to find a secret. Previously, we were accepting the Open Weather Map API key as an environment variable. But now we're going to use Encore's built in secrets management functionality. And to do that, all we have to do is to find a secret struct like this and then use it like that. And then we need to set the secret. Let's set it for prod as well. Let's commit it, and then we're ready to deploy it to production. And to do that, we simply type git push Encore, and that will trigger a deploy. And here you can see that Encore not only provides a developer experience for local development, we also provide a cloud platform that simplifies deploying to the cloud. It comes with a built-in CI and CD pipeline that automatically builds and runs tests for application. And once that's complete, provisions infrastructure and deploys our code to the cloud. This is currently using Encore Cloud to make this happen. But with just a click of a button, you can also integrate this with your own cloud provider. 
and Encore supports all the major cloud providers, GCP, AWS, and Azure. And once this has been deployed, we can then call it in the cloud. So now that it's deployed, let's use this to try it out in production. So let's use curl to call this API. And there you can see the weather in San Francisco is currently a cool 13 degrees Celsius. And that's how easy it is to use Encore to build distributed systems and deploy your application to the cloud. Thank you very much.